How y'all doing today? We got the gauges in and we're gonna check the pressure on this little trico and see if that's what's causing a little bit of the issue, being able to run two controls at once and see if anybody was right on it. Let's check it out. Here's what we got. We got a Vevor whatever gauge set. We didn't need all three of these gauges. Some reason it goes all the way up to 8,000 or whatever. We're gonna use this little small gauge right here. It goes up to 3,500 and hopefully one of these fittings fit. Okay, we're gonna assume I'm doing this right anyways. We're going to uh, find our piece that fits this. Well, of course that ain't the right wrench. Let's try the other wrench. Oops, wrong socket. I was doing the wrong thing is what I was doing. I'll lose a little bit of fluid out of this real quick. But we gotta find the right size. I don't exactly know which one of these actually work. What the heck is going on here? Okay. That's, maybe it just froze up or something, who knows. Spin it on off there, what am I gonna do, break it? There we go, now the fluid's running. Must have been a little O-ring or something there. Let me go get some of the catches in real quick. Now we got our little pan to catch this in. We find the size after I drop it on the ground. That was real good, wasn't it? Oh, let's see if, uh, oh, no dirt in it. Okay, it's that kind. Let's go find it. Here's what that looks like anyways. Where's the camera? Sort of looks like that. I don't know if think y'all can see that, but anyways, there it is. Okay, apparently I unhooked the wrong spot. You gotta unhook the other side of it. So that's what we're gonna do now because none of the gauges, pieces, would actually connect on there. So we gotta take it off right there, and then we'll size it up and get it going. All right, so it's got an O-ring up in there, and it looks like some crud. That's pretty good. It's like, uh, definitely got some crud up in there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but here, let's see if we can get that focused on there. A little bit of crap in there, ain't there? Oh well, let's get this on connected. All right, y'all. Apparently this ain't gonna work. It, it kind of pisses me off, can't find parts for anything. I went on the internet looking, said something about an adapter and June 27th, and who knows if it's the right part or not. If any of y'all have any ideas of what part to adapt this in, other than that, I'm sending this thing back to Amazon because this piece of crap because I can't use it. Send a machine back to it, and no, I'm just playing. Machine's all right, but uh, can't get no gauge on anywhere possible on this doggone thing. Let me show you why. This is the kit I bought anyways. We got uh, adapters. That end just goes on the gauge. That end is the only ends I got, just different sizes. And uh, yeah, there ain't no O-ring to fit there. So that has got to go in, after I drop it 300 times, in there with an O-ring. Yeah, that ain't that ain't possible. So uh, it, it need to look like this on the end of it, or it need to, uh, yeah, it'd look, uh, be the male, female, the male part that goes in, whatever works. And it got the gauges, got this stupid thing, looks like some kind of quick connect. I don't know crap about hydraulics, y'all, but if y'all know anything, y'all got a part number, throw it in the comments. I'm gonna be sending this thing back here in about a week or so, so uh, I don't know, I got 30 days to send it back. I might hold on to it for that long, it, just in case y'all come up with something in the comments that I can order quick. As far as my local hydraulic shop, they'll just cut my hoses and wanna put an end for their SAE or I don't know what it is, Caterpillars and you know, whatever, Kubotas. So yeah, that ain't gonna work. But other than that, just wanna show y'all, at least I tried. Man, y'all gotta check this out. Show you this high quality case this came in. I mean, the gauges might be good and all, even though they don't fit, but check this out. Look at this quality. Now, what, to be fair, it was just one side all popped up, and then I had the urge to go ahead and pull the other side real easy, and it popped up. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. That is put together well, man. Real well. All right, just to let y'all know, don't buy that for the case. It was a Vevor. I guess that's El Cheapo for a Craftsman or something. I don't know. <laughs> y'all enjoy. Have a good day. We will see you all on the next one.